The 5th of October every year is celebrated as World Teachers Day. This is to recognize their contributions and also reflect on the support they need to fully deploy their skills as well as to deliberate on how to improve the teaching profession. The Lagos State Government joined the rest of the world in celebrating these professionals who do not only impact knowledge but also build character. At this symposium, organized by the Lagos State Wing of the Nigeria Union of Teachers, Comrade Hazan Akintoye, the Lagos State NUT Chairman, commended the Songwulu administration for prioritizing teachers' welfare and the huge investment in the education sector. Whatever policies that have been put in place by government, the engine that will drive the policy are the teachers. So we must all look inward, even teachers themselves must look inward and see how best they can play a role in transforming education. As far as Lagos State is concerned, government has done so much. Regular payment of salary, uh, promotion as and when due, uh, teachers rising up to grade level 17, even permanent secretary to third general. We will always be grateful and appreciate the effort of the governor. In her remarks, the Commissioner for Education, Mrs. Polashade Adifisayo, urged teachers in the state to be upright and dedicated. We want today to be a day of appreciation, a day of thanksgiving, a day of, you know, celebrating them for all the good things that they are doing, a day to let them know that government supports, appreciates them, and will always work for their success. Teachers must never forget one thing, their job first and foremost is to impart, not just impart knowledge, but to be what we call in local parents. When you say somebody is in local parents, that is the parents, biological parents are not there, but you are the child's parent. So a teacher must never forget that. And so the job of a parent includes teaching a child, so that's imparting knowledge, caring for the child, engaging with the child, supporting the child in every way possible. In his keynote address, Governor Babaji De Sowulu described teachers as important stakeholders in molding behavior and creating a functional society. He said his administration's efforts towards boosting teachers' capacity through capacity building led to over 10,000 teachers benefiting from various initiatives to refresh their teaching skills. You are an important stakeholder. You are the ones that build and build the leaders, the leadership of tomorrow that we all getting and want to pay you better. The governor promised that his administration would continue to accord priority to investment in education while also improving the capacity and welfare of teachers. The governor said Lagos schools would further become more ICT compliant as he promised to expose teachers to international best practices. Now, part, the government will continue to make massive investment and improving the capacity and welfare of our schools. And this will include they should keep on doing what they know how to do best nurturing life bringing up the best in the students that they are catering for they should love their students that once they love them like their own children they will bring out the best in them. It is now time for us teachers to move away from blame trading to actually ensuring that we deliver professionally, we deliver teaching professionally. We have to adapt to ensure that uh, we bridge the gap between our generation and the generation of 
these students that we have in our classrooms. With Lagos State Governor, it's, it's been the best for everybody. Talk about the housing scheme, talk about the car refurbishment, talk about all loans, talk about the free vehicles, talk about the training, capacity building locally and internationally. It's been fantastic and we've never had it this good before. I'm happy that Lagos State Government today is putting uh, smiles on the faces of our teachers by the many uh, goodies being given to teachers. We need to rededicate ourselves to duties. We need to justify the, the confidence reports in us in delivering. As far as the government is doing their best to ensure that teachers are well motivated, teachers should equally ensure that they are committed, they are dedicated, they even show more passion to ensure that they raise the standard of education as far as Lagos State is concerned. Part of the lesson that I'm taking away is that I should do more. The reward of good work is more work and more hard work. In the same vein, the NUT organized the Presidential Teachers and School Excellence Award in Abuja to honor outstanding teachers and school administrators. A teacher from Okeodo Senior High School, Education District 1, Miss Adiola Adefemi, emerged Best Teacher in the Public School category. In the Best School Administrator category, the Principal, Government Senior Secondary School Agege, Mrs. Bolanle Alamu, came second. The winners appreciate Governor Sonwulu and the Commissioner for Education for providing an enabling environment for them to succeed. I feel grand. I feel like this is the crown of this is crowning everything I've been doing for over nine years so it's like saying thank you for something I felt I was doing and nobody was watching so it's like okay fine we see you we appreciate you and I'll say I'm just elated basically I want to thank the Lagos State government for believing in me and for choosing me nominating me as one of the awardees to represent Lagos State I'm so glad that I did not disappoint the state the award didn't just come like that we have gone through a series of um, webinars from the Teaching Service Commission, a lot of training here and there that we have been exposed to, various opportunities that have given us the edge to be able to perform excellently at such awards. I'm so elated about this award and I want to say thank you to our governor for the support during this, uh, the process. I want to say thank you to the Minister of Education and our honorable commissioner. The winners from Lagos State met with the Commissioner for Education who commended them for making Lagos proud. Ola Dele Faje Mirokun Foundation also celebrated the World Teachers Day with an event organized to say thank you to teachers for a job well done. The contribution of the Ola Dele Faje Mirokun Foundation in celebrating our teachers today is simply awesome. We appreciate them. We know that they are partners, partners in progress, uh, quality. Uh, uh, they, they, they've been making sure that they support us in appreciating our teachers. They've been, they've been supporting us to make sure that we deliver education, quality education in Lagos State. And that they have again demonstrated today by appreciating our teachers. The, the takeaway for our teachers today is never to rest on their hours. They should realize the fact that the development of the nation, the progress of the nation rests on their shoulders. Hardly anything that we desire in Lagos State as teachers and public servants that we have not been given. So kudos to Mr. Governor, Mr. Babajide Olushola Sawolu. He has got it right and he's doing it right. Speaking to Education Report on TV, the Executive Director of the Foundation, Mrs. Olaumi Fajemi Rokun, described teachers as unsung heroes that shape the minds of the young ones. I believe they are our unsung heroes, really. And the truth of the matter is that we just expect teachers to be okay, turn into work, you know, go home late, come in early, get ready for classrooms. And I think they are not. You know, they can always be 
a way of celebrating them, celebrating their work. So yes, this is something that we believe that you know it will go. It, it's something. It's something really. Just to say thank you. Some outstanding teachers whose students recorded excellent performances in external examinations were rewarded with cash gifts. This celebration means a lot to me because um, it's a day that um, teachers have been recognized and for teachers to be recognized it means that um, Lagos State is doing a lot of work to ensure that education is um, grounded in the state and to ensure that teachers are motivated, teachers are appreciated and teachers are loved. This uh, award uh, means a lot. I really appreciate the award and I, I believe the award will encourage me more to do better for the rest of my, my years in service. I am elected to be one of the recipients today. Thank you Lagos State for all what you have been doing. And also I want to thank our Lade Lefa Jamiroku Foundation for bestowing us this great honor today. And this will make more teachers to do more. For us to do more, for us to do more than expectations. Teachers from the six education districts were represented. Education District 5 also commemorated the World Teachers Day with an event tagged rebranding the teaching profession. It is to rebrand them, to make them up to date about what is happening again in teaching profession and how to approach it in a new dimension so that uh, we will enjoy our teaching, we will enjoy our students will enjoy our class and uh, it will be more interesting to teach our students in the, in the teaching profession. Teachers were urged to look inwards to rebrand the profession and ensure the teaching profession serves as a bedrock for all other professions. Basically, if we have to rebrand, the rebranding starts with the teachers and the teachers themselves have to really rise to really stand for their uh, profession. And in that way, they need to look inwards to see what and what they can do to really begin to raise the value of teachers individually and collectively themselves. I want to advise the younger generation of teachers to take this job seriously. See, they don't have any job, other job elsewhere. They should know what they are doing. They should not relent in their hours to put in what they're supposed to put in. We all went to the university or college of education to have acquired the certificate and we have been so opportune to have been employed by the state government. So we should take this job very seriously. Change is a constant thing in life. That the new systems that are coming, the new methods that are coming into the system, we should make use of it to teach the children. That we should not just be the old teachers of those days as a 21st century teacher, that we should improve in ourselves to put on effective teaching and learning. The usage of technology, um, which is something that has brought a lot of fear to probably um, to a lot of people on the teaching job because, you know, but with this kind of training and um, enlightenment, I believe people will go back to research on how to use the technology to make uh, or achieve a better instruction in the classroom. I'll go back to my teaching profession, who fulfilled as a teacher, and to be able to impart knowledge onto the students in a more efficient manner. I've learned a lot. Before now, I know about rebranding. Rebranding, how to carry yourself, your self-esteem. We should be part of our profession. We should, when we see our counterpart outside, we should be proud. I want to thank the TGPS for this program. I want to thank the Lagos State Government. Hello, hello. Still on World Teachers Day, Rotary Club of Omole Golden also celebrated the Teachers Day by organizing a read-along ceremony for pupils. This is also in line with the club's basic education and literacy month program. We know you are pupils of this school. You know, we know you are supposed to come here and read every day. But we want to show you that we have also been like you before and we used to read. 
and we want you to enjoy reading. That is why all of us are here to read with you this particular passage and also give you this book. The reading session was enlightening. Play in the hay. Play in the hay. I can run. I can run. I can play. I can play. I can run. I can run. And play in the hay. And play in the hay. Members of the club appreciated teachers and encouraged them not to rest on their oars. We all went through teachers and then 5th of October every year is known as the World Teachers Day. Uh, we, we do basic things, we provided uh, um, cake and also drinks and rejoice with the teachers, show them love on behalf of the pupils, show them that Rotarians and indeed every adult what is salt will never belittle the effort of a teacher in molding the life of any adult. On behalf of the school, the management and the pupils of Karaoke, I say a big thank you, sir, and a big thank you, man. The Lord Christ you God and bless and enrich your purpose in Jesus. The book will be enough to keep them busy always and to make their future to be bright and let them become a future, a, a, a good future leader, and their future will be bright, and they will be able to represent in any organization, they will be able to live friendly and represent well. The theme for these years what Teachers' Day is, the transformation of education begins with teachers.